Hey, welcome to Arm Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap a refrigerator door. Uh, on this door right here, it has like a curve, so it goes outwards right here. So when you're installing any kind of vinyl, you want to go with the curve. So we're going to actually start from this end and, and go just wrap this door right here. So you get the same kind of concept if you want to wrap this uh, one side of the door or the full door, but you basically start on one end right here. So the first thing I like to do is getting... Uh, get it clean and removing any of the subjects off the, the units and get it clean as I like using an invisible glass cleaner and then you just clean it real good and uh, make sure there's nothing in the way and I built some little nuggets right there and then once it's all nice and clean you uh, you grab the vinyl and this is like a demonstration right now so usually there's a print or actually we do sell this regular white vinyl but in all our prints, we usually have, have like little markers right here. I kind of blew up these markers right here, to sh or the marking areas to show you where exactly where it's at. And um, what you need to do is you can grab some tape. Uh, you can grab some blue tape, or I'm going to try to uh, have extra vinyl, uh, like strips right here. So you can go halfway between the vinyl here and here, and make sure the back is still on. Okay. So the next thing I like to do is see these little corner markers where you add a little corner, corner markers so we actually I can feel where the corners are at here and right there so if it's you can feel where it's at and then what you can do is you can pull it down and tack it on right here so that's where it's tacked on so you can kind of move it over and make sure it's all lined up perfectly where you need to be exactly where you need to be and it's tacked right here so the next thing I like to do is grab the backing right here and just pull it off. Okay. Sometimes it, uh, it'll pop off. So you just kind of tack it right back on. So that's it right there. Now with every order, uh, you get a free squeegee and a free knife. So you take these squeegees and you can actually see uh, the little arrows, so you just kind of follow these arrows in the squeegee. So the next thing I do, I do, so it's kind of that that far away. Now this is actually uh, printed on 3M air release vinyl, and um, so you have the little grids on the back of the vinyl. So it's yeah, uh, it's a high quality vinyl that you use, and, and it's and it's pr uh, pretty thick on what kind of vinyl is. So the next thing I like to do, you can probably use your fingers. Or you can use a squeegee and squeegee the edges, the corners of that right there. Make sure you get all the air bubbles out. And if there's any air bubbles, you can actually uh, use your thumb and go that way. Okay, next thing I like to do is kind of, I this has a, like a curve to it. So what you can do is you can take your thumb and just kind of keep on working it on. Now, if you start getting little creases like this right here, you can actually pull it up and then put it right back down. So once you get about an inch into this without any creases or, or whatever, uh, or bubbles, then you start pulling the backing down a little bit more. And what I like to do is use your squeegee and you follow these arrows. So these arrows right here, uh, it's going down. You can probably just go keep on going down if you want. And go like that. Now if you get any air bubbles or you're starting to fight with the vinyl, you could try to pull it back up to right where these edges are at. But I'm just kind of showing you um, how I would do this. So I would go up and down. So these little creases right here are in the, in the vinyl. Okay, so you pull the rest of the backing down. And again, if you get any bubbles or creases while you still have the vinyl up, fix it. You can fix it right away. And just kind of, again, follow these arrows. That's what I'm doing. I'm following these arrows. And if, if you want, uh, you can actually use your thumb. You take your time if you want. That's what I'm just using my thumb. And that's it. So um, 
every order is custom size and fit. So if we need, uh, if you're having a, a, a three door, we call it French door, a stack door, and also um, just a solid door. This is kind of the same kind of concepts. You go from left to right. Now, if it's the if it's a totally totally flat door with no curvature at all, um, I recommend just going from the top bottom. So I would pull the backing down probably uh, four or five inches and then tack it down and kind of work your way this way. This is probably the easier way to do this. But if it's curved, uh, sticking out in the middle and, and shortening on the edge, I would recommend starting from one side and you're working your way this way. So if you've got any comments, questions, comment down below. If you need some other videos explaining how to uh, install some uh, unique doors or doors that, that I don't have any videos on, I'll try my best to find a door similar to yours, make a video on how to do this. But this is kind of the proper way to install uh, this kind of door on this right here. Now what you can do is um, I can continue, continue on and uh, just kind of around these edges right here, I would probably use my thumb and go about an inch in and then go, you work your way that way and then you're golden with this right there. Okay, again, if you wanna change the look of the colors, just the color of the, of the refrigerator or unique designs from the rmwraps.com website, definitely check out more stuff there. But um, yeah, let me know. 208-696-1180, info at rmwraps.com, Devin or Randy, We'll have, uh, you can ask any comments, questions, or concerns. And we'll do our best to answer your questions. So stay tuned. Come back. Check out more stuff.